come on. Um, good evening, everyone. Then welcome to another Marshall White Zoom auction. So we're getting used to this, um, getting used to doing it from home. I've had to uh, send the kids out. I've got four children. I've had to send them out walking around the streets just to uh, give me a bit of peace and quiet. So I'll run through the normal standard terms and conditions of the sale and I'll, um, I'll just remind you of the sort of protocols with the Zoom auctions, just so there's any queries or clarifications or any questions, I can certainly uh, attend to those. If for some reason you suddenly drop out and you want to be involved, please feel free to ring um, Lisa or Eva. Um, the girls could, Lisa, you might want to put your phone numbers in the Zoom, uh, sorry, in the chat function just uh, whilst we're pr proceeding here, just so if you do suddenly drop out of it, please feel free to speak to one of uh, my colleagues. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to assist with the bidding part of it. So Lisa's just put her phone number online there. So the uh, it's been a pleasure. To, we, we certainly had a couple of weeks at it uh, with 12 Amy Street Campbell. We had a lot of people through, We're, of course, uh, working out how they want to enjoy this fabulous home. It's a fabulous property. Um, beautiful uh, renovated bungalow, so in a great part of Campbell. So I'll just call, on the fall, Hammer will call for the normal 10% deposit and the balance in 30, 60 or 90 days from today's date. So flexible terms, um, it, we're offering flexible terms there. Any variance of those terms have been requested prior to the start of the auction. If you are the successful bidder, they will certainly be honoured on the fall Hammer. Now the channels are all standard, all fixed floor coverings. Electric light fittings, curtains and blinds and the dishwasher remains with the property upon settlement time. So there's no exclusions to the contracts of sale. Those contracts have been made available uh, throughout the campaign on email. Um, so I don't propose to go through the general special conditions there and there for your benefit as for a or client. And it's important I cover the key components of the section 32. We're also known to many as a vendor statement. Of course, within that document, there's a certificate of title, which evidence our vendor's right to sell, shows to be volume number 6125, folio 930, with all the land and improvements better, your, better known to you and I as 12 Amy Street in Camberwell. Now the land, it's approximately 632 square metres of land. There is a splay on the corner, which I'm sure you've uh, recognised on the title, ladies and gentlemen, but um, there's about on the frontage to Amy Street, you've got a 47.5 foot frontage, a depth on, on your rear boundary on the eastern side of 130 feet. So obviously the display affects the, uh, on the um, western side of it, but approximately 632 square metres of land. Property tracks city burn our rates, they're $4,028 per annum. Yarra Valley water rates, a bit over $700 plus of course usage on top of that throughout the year. The property is neighbourhood residential zoning, schedule three, there's no heritage overlay on the property. Big grades have no proposals in terms of road widening that affect the subject property. Um, any land tax payable is uh, adjusted upon settlement time and no building permits have been granted on the property in the preceding seven years. So very straightforward cash contract of sale. I'm required by the rules of the real estate institute to read the auction clause and it states as follows that this property is for sale by a public auction, subject to the vendor's reserve price, the highest bid bid is accepted to show by the purchaser. If any dispute arises concerning the bidding, the property shall be put up again, the last undisputed bid, or myself as the auctioneer may, may determine that dispute. A person shall advance less than the same name by the auctioneer, that bid once made shall be retracted. The vendors do reserve the right to refuse any bid, will withdraw the property from sale before it's being knocked down without declaring that reserve price. Also I must advise you by law, the auction conducted any additional conditions are made available prior to the start of the auction, as the auctioneer will indicate bidders on request, law profits false bids, major disruptions by bidders, and there's some fines for such conduct. The rules to move vendor bids, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the words during the auction indicate I'm making a bid on the half of vendor, I simply use those words, vendor bid. And by law, only I as auctioneer may make that vendor bid. Last couple of points, ladies and gentlemen, once the property has been knocked down successful bidder, we are deemed sold. So please make sure you get your bids in, make sure you've got your cameras on, make sure I can be, you can be seen, Clearly, I'll give you plenty of time, but once I do knock it down to this successful bidder, we are deemed sold, okay? So I can't entertain any late bids or reopen the bidding for anyone. And finally, in your, in your general conditions, there's nominee clause allowing you flexibility to add additional purchase details or vary those purchase details if you wish to do so. We simply use the words and or nominee on the uh, digital contracts. Any questions on the rules? Well, it would be remiss of me not to say a few quick words and uh, 
it's just a brilliant family home. I mentioned it before and uh, great accommodation, really good accommodation. The balance of formal and informal areas, obviously you've got your uh, hub of the house, which is a kitchen open plan area overlooking that uh, beautiful rear garden and pool. But the formal room, lovely room as well with a gas fireplace and plus that extra um, retreat upstairs, which is an absolute ripper for the kids uh, to uh, hide away and play their Xboxes and Playstations or watch their movies up there. That's a great feature. Greater bedroom accommodation, three, uh, three downstairs, two up, or whether you wanted to use all or that other room upstairs, another bedroom, that's of course an option too. So really good flexibility. Very good garaging underneath, the added bonus of the gym for those uh, fitness minded. Um, but that's a, great to have that room downstairs as well. So it's just a brilliant family home and uh, very good land holding, 632 square metres of land. It's a good, um, obviously, land, of course, always underpinning your value, which is a very important part of it, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, and we're so well located to everything that uh, Campbell has to offer, whether it be primary schools or kindergartens, obviously walking distance from there, Highfield Park, local shopping, Middle Campbell, and also Leo's, Leo's around the corner down in Summerhill Road. Great to be so close to the great sort of shopping hubs. Mailing Road, not too far. Transport, of course, tram and train, all access from uh, that terrific address there at Amy Street. So I really encourage you to show flexibility with your bidding, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great family opportunity. And I know it's a little bit different in this sort of environment uh, with the Zoom, but that's obviously what everyone's, we've had to get used to, haven't we? So. Um, it just represents a brilliant opportunity to get into the Campbell market. So without any further questions, I'll put it out to you, put it out to the crowd. As I said, rules for the, um, with the uh, bidding, obviously tonight, ladies and gentlemen, if you can just make sure you're off, off mute to make the bid so we can clearly hear you want to make the bid. I will use people's names if they, if they are registered on your phones or iPads or computers that, that, uh, that you're bidding. So I will use people's names so you can clearly understand that it's your bid uh, at that uh, point of proceedings. So I'll put it out to you now, ladies and gentlemen, who'd like to get us away with a fair and reasonable opening bid for 12 Amy Street in Campbell? I see an opening bid anywhere to go. So I'm in your hands now, ladies and gentlemen. I've said enough, now it's over to you. So when this is part of the auction, we need a bit of audience participation to get us away. I see an opening bid anywhere to go. 12 Amy Street, Campbell. Just make sure you're off mute and cameras are on. Because if your cameras aren't on, I won't be having a, I haven't uh, told us, haven't told everyone, but 2705, we're on the market. So Justin, you're holding the highest bid at 2705. I'm not passing the property in, I'm selling to Justin with no high bid at 2705. Another five. Another five from Chad uh, at 2720. Fresh bidding is two million seven twenty from Zach. Zach, was that you, Zach? Sorry. Uh, yep, yep, it was me. Yeah, sorry, mate. A two seven twenty from Zach. Two seven twenty. Two seven twenty. What was that, Chad? Two seven three from Chad. Forty. And forty from Zach. Fifty. Fifty back to Chad. Eighty. Two seven five zero. Eighty. And sixty now, Zach. Eighty. Eighty. 2780. 28. 28. Two eight. Better bid. 28. At 2.8 million. 285. 2,850,000, is yep. that Zach? 26. 2850. 286. 286 from Chad. 90. 2890 from Zach. 2890. 2.9. 291. 291. Good bid at 291. 294. 294. 294 from Zach. 294. Moment to think. At 294. 2940. You're back for another bid chat or anyone else? Louis earlier. Rami. 2940. 295. 295 from the chat. 60. 60 straight back. 296. 2960. 2965. 2965. 80. 80. Good bid. 2980. 2980. 2980. What about try me at three, chat? 
Three million. Two nine eight oh. Two nine eight oh. Sold the unrenovated one down in uh, Rail Avenue last night for three. So <laughs> it's nicely renovated. Two nine eight oh. Two nine eight oh. Bids with Zach. Louis, Justin, Rami earlier at 2980. We're selling at that price, obviously. 2980. Anyone back for another bid? 2980. Another five, Chad, or 10. Or Louis, or Justin, or Rami. 2980. Bid with Zach. You can see it in the check function as well, 2980. Is that a bid, Justin? You're on mute? No? It's the up and down one we like, Justin. <laughs> 2980. I'll call it three times then. No high bid, of course. We're selling to Zach at 2980. First call on the bid. At 2980. Second call. Third. Final call at 2980. Louis, you back for another bid? Rami, in or out? 2980. Look yours, Zach. Chad, definitely in or out? Saying no. Been good bidders. 2980. No late surprises, ladies and gentlemen, as I said. Once, when, once my uh, hands clap, we're sold at 2980. 2,980,000. The 12 Amy Street, Campbell. Great family home. First call, 2980. Second call. Third, final call, 2980. The property is selling. Going. That's going. And it is sold. Congratulations, Zach. Thank you. 2980. Thank you, bidding. Thank you all for your bidding and attendance.